You know, it absolutely amazes me that we're in the year 2022, actually not too far away from 2023, and Billy Joel is still selling out every arena, like everywhere he goes worldwide. Everywhere. You understand what I mean? Not just one place. Like this guy could go, I, I think this guy could go to like like uh, Ethiopia and he'd probably sell out. Like no matter where he go, <laughs> he could go anywhere. All around the country. I just saw the last concert I just saw was in North Dakota. I didn't even know, you want to laugh? Me and my wife were laughing. I doubt it'd be like 70,000 people at his concert. Me and my wife said, I didn't even know that there was that many people in North Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> I think like, you know, like, it's like that song, you know, uh, John Cougar, you know, Mellicamp, you know. I was born in a small town. I can breathe in a small town. Gonna die in a small town. Oh, it's good enough for me. It's like, so he'll play these small towns where the population, you know, could be, I don't know, 100,000 people and like 70 or 80,000 people are at his concert. It's just absolutely incredible. Now, I'm not saying, listen, I'm, I'm, I'm making a joke, obviously. There's more than 100,000 people in North, North Dakota. For all the people who take me seriously, I'm making a joke. But I'm just saying, you know, it's just incredible. It's absolutely just amazing. What a legend, man. What an icon Billy Joel is. Uh, man, you know, the movie's coming out soon. Piano Man, it, they, they're making, uh, just like uh, Elton John made Rocket Man. They're making um, a movie on his life. And Billy never wanted to do it. I'm surprised he agreed to it because I've heard him in many interviews. He said, I don't. I just, I don't want to do it. My life, he actually thinks his life is not interesting. Yeah, right. Your life is like that. You've lived one of the greatest lives in the history of mankind. One time I heard him, right? He was on the uh, Actors Studio. What's that guy's name? James Lipton, I think it is, John? Yeah, for sure. James Lipton. And James asked him, he said... He said, Billy, are you happy with your life? And Billy Joel says, I'm content. You content? I I just, I know he's explained what he meant by that. But like he means it like, look, he values other things in his life besides being this rock star, besides being this multi-millionaire. You know, he values his health. He values his family. And, you know, there's been many times in his life because that he was, he did such extensive touring, you know, he had he got divorced from, you know, how many wives did this guy have? Let's see, uh, Elizabeth, he had the uh, Katie Lee, uh, Christy Brinkley, and now he's married to the I forget the new the new wife's name, but so I, I think he was married four times, right, Judd? He's on his fourth. He's his fourth wife, right? So the extensive touring, you know, it's funny. His 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 newest wife was some some kind of a financial advisor. It's funny, right? She worked for like J.P. Morgan or something. I think. <laughs> just find it funny. I don't know. Why. I'm always saying I'm not a financial planner. You know, Billy Joe's my idol, but he's married to a financial planner. You know, everybody that's important in my life winded up marrying a financial. My first girlfriend. Don't get upset, Jennifer. We we broke up. I thought she was the one, but I'm so happy I met Jennifer because she's the best in the world. But I'm just saying, she left me for a man 20 years older than her that was a financial planner. Billy Joel marries a financial planner. It's like all the people that that I love, like, well, not that I love my ex-girlfriend anymore. Let me let me reframe that. Loved, past tense. You know, I'm just saying, have something to do with financial advisors. I think it's funny. But the guy's always like selling out. It's just, he's, the guy is, as long as he's living, let's just put it this way, he's going to be selling out. The, Billy Joel will be like Michael Corleone in The Godfather 3. He'll be all like a, a wheelchair. And it's really sad to say this because you see what happened to Phil Collins. I think he finally is deciding to stop touring now because he had some sort of a medical condition where he had to sit down. He couldn't play the drums. And he was very sad because Phil Collins is one of the greatest talents that ever lived in history. I love Phil Collins. My God, Phil Collins is the, is the GOAT, the greatest of all time. And it's so sad what happened to him. But it's the same thing, God forbid, not that I'm saying, listen, Billy, I wish you the best of health, God bless, you know what I mean? But like, like literally people would come to his show, this guy, this guy could go to Egypt and it'll sell out. It's crazy. The mummies might, the mummies might arise and come to his show, like Cleopatra might come to his show. <laughs> 